This morning, as I listened to my devotions, I listened to a story of a man who shared that he had been in Africa, in one of the countries there, and he was at a prison, a prison that was so overcrowded. And many of the prisoners, in fact, probably most of them came to the meetings. And one of the men that was there that had been in the prison for four years was, well, perhaps the spiritual leader in that place. He led Bible studies and other activities pointing men to God. This man was Chinese, and he had been in prison, as I said, for four years, but he'd never been convicted of a crime. You see, he was there awaiting trial. And for four years, he was in this prison. But the, the beauty of it was that he practiced and lived hope. He believed that God had him there even for a purpose. And even though it was not easy, even though it was painful and difficult and certainly unjust, he saw himself sharing in the suffering of Christ. It's interesting to me that we don't look at those events as, well, what we should be experiencing. We live in a culture that thinks about prosperity and goodness and, well, good things coming to us, not bad things. And yet Paul says that we ought to see our lives as in the suffering with Jesus. And if we're not, well, then what are we doing? And I wonder sometimes whether or not we in our culture are going to have a rude awakening someday. And we're going to find out and have our te faith tested as to see whether or not it actually holds water. I wonder, where would you be if you were in that prison, not convicted of a crime, just awaiting trial? How would you feel? Would you be a person who would be expounding on the goodness of God? Because that's what that man was talking about, was the goodness of God in spite of his pain, in spite of his difficulties. Think about that today, would you? Hey, until next time, God bless.